Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 10th of July. While the markets were down, I would say it was a same day. At least you could attribute the movements of stocks, indices, markets to some reasons. Another day for FII, DII to be lying low, reasonable sell value, reasonable buy value. Overall FII is bought 600 crores, DI is bought 1100 crores, no big deal at all. Flavor of the week, flavor of the day, railways, even in down market, lot of stocks were up. RVNL was up another 12% today. It was down a bit yesterday. This is the complete list of stocks I have compiled which are related to the railway sector. If there's anything I have missed out on, do let me know in the comment section. The biggest stock is IRFC. Look at the difference between 52 week low and high. 32 versus 213. IRCT also has nearly doubled. Most of the stocks in this sector have run up a lot, but there is nothing stopping RVNL and IRFC for sure. RVNL in the list of infrastructure stocks also appears at number two just after LNT. So it is a really important stock from the purpose of building the nation. In fact, this is one PSU stock where you get regular news flow on net new orders nearly every week. Some 100 crore, 200 crore orders keep on coming to RVNL. I have existing holdings in two companies, RVNL and IRFC. I today bought a bit into another company called Ramakrishna Forgings. This is India's second largest forging company after Bharat Forge. They are well diversified, including auto, including trains. They have more than 2000 SKUs in their list. So I thought it's a well diversified company. Now at this stage, I've just bought it for trading purpose for the budget season, but this may move to a long-term portfolio after I do a deeper analysis especially the results of this company. The other sector which has been rocking for last few months, defense, but it was in deep red today. The problem in this particular sector is P. Most of the stocks are at more than 50 kind of P. And I mentioned this couple of days back with the sector growing around 18%, even if this growth becomes a 25% this year, these P's probably will not be justified. The big problem I have right now is that there are enough hands to buy say HL at 5500 but suppose HL crashes to say 4000. At that time everyone will be scared. No one will want to buy at 4000 which will pull the stocks and sectors down further. One good part of this sector is there are a lot of defense centric funds which have recently got launched. So there is a lot of new money available to get invested. In fact a lot of funds have started saying no to, to new money or new SIPs starting after the budget. In fact, I would say one good part of it is it is a paradise for traders in the times to come because every drop or every fall will be bought into because there is so much money waiting to get invested into defense, retail direct as well as DIIs. The next event on the calendar is round the corner tomorrow. TCS will come up with its results. As per my video, I am expecting the results to be better than the market's expectations. If this happens, then it will have a positive impact on nearly the entire sector, including INFI which will be visible in its ADR tomorrow. Bank Nifty besides the first five minutes was a smooth affair. The indices and the banks fell in the initial part of the day and then consolidated in a very, very stiff range for Bank Nifty. In fact, taking Q from Friday, I thought that there would be a very big spike up or down in the final five minutes. So I took a small speculative position, which didn't work out. I'll talk about it. VIX has been going up. It cooled down towards the end. Most of the banks and Nifty stocks went up a bit, but this is nowhere close to the 52 week high 31, which was there ahead of the election results. Today, ATL was up, HUL was up, rest everyone was down, that too on big percentages. TCS ahead of the results fell most 2%. Now TCS has fallen for four out of last five days. The bad news, if any, is kind of priced in. So if the results are not really, really bad, then the stock should recover on Friday. This is the recovery I was talking about, which came in the last half an hour, 45 minutes or so. Nearly all the stocks went up a bit towards the end. Nifty as a result went up and the VIX came down. TCS, however, had a pattern of its own. It went down continuously and then consolidated. HUL after the post-budget fall has been going up steadily. It is looking good actually on the charts. So is ITC. Public sector banks are still not looking very good. Most of them corrected PNB, SBI. IRFC was down yesterday. It recovered ground today, 4% up. Power finance was up as well, 2%. The sector was down 0.3%. The finance companies are at 52 week high. IRFC nearly there, PFC already there. Defense pack nearly the graph is looking like this. So if you are a trader, you may want to take a look at the pattern. Most stocks are opening down and then going up a bit and consolidating. All stocks were down, 
the sector was down 1.23 percent the line is getting away from 52 week high every day metals i've been skeptical for many days now i sold off an mdc yesterday it fell another two and a half percent nearly all metals are looking weak right now this is not a local phenomena per se alone yes if auto is going down then metal also will be impacted however this is more of a china phenomena probably where china demand is going down as a result international commodity prices are a lot lower we can do a bit to protect local industry but not much especially for the sectors like steel where a lot of international cheap steel can be dumped unless government decides to intervene it sector is looking bad right now this is something i have already covered in my video which i released couple of days back i have squared off all my positions in it sector volumes for tcs infosys hcl were good the top 3 players are way off from the 52 week highs Energy sector reliance is not showing too much of buying interest off late. As a result, this sector is not showing any gains. 0.2% down. That is despite decent buying happening in Oil India HPCL today. The other oil, the other oil companies like ONGC, IOC, BPCL, they have been doing okay. The volumes also are looking good. However, reliance is so big in market cap that changes in price of anyone else does not reflect at all. The power pack was better. NTPC power grid both were up today. The P's in this particular sector are lot reasonable. If there is some correction later in this month or maybe next month, I might increase my holdings in some of these stocks because power production in the country is going to go up only if you have to move towards a five six trillion dollar economy size. Market bet was not as good as yesterday. Eighteen sectors up, eighteen down. The contribution numbers also have come down more reasonable. Insurance was the best performer today, but the indices got severely dragged by software and auto. Banking metal also were down a lot. I talked about the auto industry yesterday. As soon as people realized the fine print, Mahindra and Mahindra fell 6.6 percent. Maruti is not down too much, but I think it will correct a lot in the times to come as people realize. that the duty cut will not actually create more volumes there may be a shift from other providers to maruti but here we are talking about a car that cost maybe 20 lakh rupees not too many people buy a car worth 20 lakh rupees to save the environment and reduce their running cost people prefer to buy cheap cars especially in up where purchasing power is lower than rest of country literally no one was spared today the entire sector was down 1 and 1/2% Construction engineering LNT was down half a percent, but RVNL took care of everything else. Twelve percent up. The sector was up one point three percent. The volumes were amazing. This is one of the wait and watch sector with respect to the budget. So is cement actually, but cement has run up a lot already, and there is a big game going on between the Adani Group and Ultra Tech. So people are little wary of taking positions in the cement stocks right now. Food and tobacco was mixed back today. ITC and Nestle fell, but Britannia, Tata Consumer, Marico were up. Marico is on a roll right now. It is going up nearly every day. Insurance, nearly everyone was up more than two percent. The sector was up one and a half percent. Investment banking was down severely. Everyone is looking at the collaboration between Reliance Geo and BlackRock. Siemens up, ABB down. The sector was down point eight percent when it comes to machinery and heavy equipment. Metals a sea of red. Real estate is suddenly looking a bit fragile. There is a lot that budget and interest rates can do for this sector. A lack of support, however, can drag the sector down by twenty percent with ease. Nifty Fifty twenty seven stocks down, twenty three up. Asian Paints was a top performer, followed by Airtel, HUL, Power Grid, NTPC. Nifty was dragged down by TCS, MNM, State Bank of India, Reliance. Next Fifty after a long time, I am seeing Berger at the top, followed by Godrej, ICICI Prudential, SBI Cards. What was dragging down? PNB, InfoEdge, Bank of Baroda, Vedanta, Ambuja Cement. PSU banks were bleeding today. My trade for the day, I already talked about Ramkrishna Forgings. This is an experiment. The quantity is not very high. Let's see. I bought KRBL, Eid Perry. I already have KRBL in my long term portfolio. This is for trading for the budget. The story here in my mind is Andhra Pradesh will have a say in the budget. All thanks to the coalition. The main crops in Andhra Pradesh are sugar and rice. Eat Perry is the largest sugar company in the country. KRBL is the largest rice producer in the company. All the big brands like India Gate are covered under KRBL. So any so far these two sectors will be good. Both these sectors are thirsty for water. This year there is a lot of water also. Hopefully the crops will be good. I bought REC. for long term my long term definition at times changes rapidly these days abb also but this is again something i buy and sell this is for trading i love the stock but it is too volatile it just goes up and down continuously 
I had bought RBNL in my trading account as well as long term account. So I sold off the trading account completely today. The long term also I might actually reduce. It has already run up 50% in last few days from the time I bought. So for long term also I would prefer to maybe book profits and buy it again after the budget when markets correct a bit. If markets don't correct it's okay we'll find some other stock. We are back to green in the calendar. Yesterday also overall I was green but I had to sacrifice some stocks. However, today I am not feeling very happy. I am feeling actually a bit sad. The reason is that my conviction was so strong. My reading was so right. I short sold SBI a day earlier and I exited those short positions a day earlier as well. Today SBI did what I was expecting it to do. It actually went to 845 at this level in the morning a little before 11 am. If I had held on to what I sold yesterday, I would have easily made about 1 lakh profit instead of 1.8 lakh loss yesterday which I booked and the positions which I sold yesterday in RVNL also they were up 10% today so you can add 20-30 thousand to that loss also virtually so it was a really bad decision yesterday to sell I typically don't regret these sales however this is a big loss that too with the right conviction and the right decision today I was left with only 20,000 capital so I was lying low and was taking very small trades nifty I started well but then one trade went wrong then I went to Bank Nifty. There I was watching the trends and SBI, I was aware of the trend. Moreover, HDFC was trending down only. However, I did not short. I went long when the curve was indicating a recovery and I exited. This There were only two trades. This is a speculative trade I tried. In the last dying minutes, I bought 53 200 call option, expecting Bank Nifty to suddenly jump 150 points in the last 15 minutes. That did happen on Friday. That did happen yesterday to SBI. So it was a 1000 rupee game but I bought lot of quantity. Had this happened I would have probably earned 50-60 thousand rupees in 15 minutes. That's okay it was just a speculative trade. Markets haven't corrected much today but at least some froth was taken care of. An index correction of 20% will lead to 30% correction in most stocks and 50-60% to correction in mid caps and small caps. If you have not seen those kind of corrections I would suggest relook at your philosophy and your strategy once again. Here I am not talking about anything bad from the budget. In fact, my video on the budget says that budget has unprecedented opportunities in terms of the finance minister having so many levers to play around with. However, I don't know what will be there in the budget. Markets have priced in a good budget. If the market is disappointed, then there could be deep fall, deep cut because there is no trigger coming after that for a rally. In fact, Nifty has gone up for nearly all days except two or three days in the last three weeks. There is a profit booking due in any case. One thing I would definitely suggest whether you are a trader or investor at this stage don't take any positions short or long on borrowed money. Markets will go some way either up or down with very big volatility. So hold on tight. Enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.